Alright guys, today we're going to be talking about how can you win in blackjack. Well, blackjack is one of those games that if you play it wrong, you're going to lose, of course. But if you play it right, you can really eliminate the odds that you're going to lose. So what we're going to do is we're going to play... Um, it's play money. It's, you know, we can play real money, but I don't want to do that right now. So what we're going to do for this case, um, we're just I'm going to show you a couple ways to make some better decisions at least. So first thing I want you to know, want you to see, is a basic strategy for blackjack. You can find these all over Google Images, you can download them, you can do whatever. I can link you, hit me up, whatever. But this is a basic strategy. So let's say you had 14 and the dealer shows a 4. This means you're going to stand. You know, is it going to work every time? No. Because the dealer might hit a 10 and a 7 and next thing you know the dealer's got a 21 you're screwed, you're upset. But it's a better way. The odds are with you if you use these. Okay, so ace, 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 eight, eight. You're gonna split, and we're gonna show you how that works out. It's not gonna work every time, like I said, but you know, as a eleven will show you all the way up until an ace. You're gonna double up. So let's go ahead and try some of this. See if, what we can do. All right, let's start out with five dollar chips. All right. Deal. So you got twenty. You got two queens. You got a nine. So. Obviously, if you have two queens, what are you going to do? You're going to stand because you have 20 against a dealer showing nines, which, I mean, we can refer back to our strategy card. Okay, so we have a 20, so a 17 or plus, and they have a nine. We're going to stand, and we're going to win. So stand. Player win. We just won five bucks. Okay? So let's go ahead and rebet. Rebet. All right, this is a little bit more tricky. We have 16 and we have an 8. Now, 16 and 8 on the strategy card is going to tell you to hit. And this is the best odds. It doesn't look good because if they get a 10, they're going to win. But if we hit, we might bust. And we probably will. The odds of us busting are 62%. Hit. Bust. So, yes, we did bust. But the odds favored us because we knew we were going. Basically, you knew you were going to lose if you just stood there. So it's better to at least hit instead of you know not doing anything. I mean, sure, um, he could have he could have busted the dealer, but most likely wasn't going to. The odds well, favor okay. the person not doing it. So let's go ahead and play again. We bet. Now we had a seven and a four. So when you have a 7 and a 4, of course you have to hit. Hit. Now we have 15 against 4, 15 and 4, that's going to be a stand. And the reason why is because we expect them to bust. Stand. Player win. And so they did. And remember guys, this is a basic strategy. It, it helps you out a lot. It's a good way to make some better choices and it's a reference. If, you, you know, if you're playing, you can actually pretty much decide your fate a little bit better. You're going to lose at times, guys. It's blackjack. You're not going to always win. So just make sure you understand that this is not a surefire way to win money. I'm not telling you it is. This is a basic strategy to make sure the odds are better than they would be if you didn't use it. If you guys want to hit me up for anything else, if you need any more tips, whether it be poker or blackjack, just let me know. Thanks, guys.